Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Cole Wolfron, and today we are going to be doing some more quests in Dragon Age of Velgard. But first, we got some people to talk to. Mainly, what do Lucanus and Nev have to talk about over there? Am I going to catch them making out? I made a fresh pot, and ah, that's Rook's walk. Yep, just me. You brought Nev coffee. <laughs> I brought an excuse. Spite thought I should talk to her. Well, not just Spite, but I'm only good with knives. You made pie. Oh, also Inspired. I changed her arm. You made it twice. Oh. It was nothing. Right, and... Lucanis, are you okay? I was trying to find the right thing to say. Poorly. Quick with a knife. Less so with words, which you've picked up on. Well, you have the coffee, and you probably have a case or something, so... No. I don't need pie, but you remember my favorite. You find me at midnight just mm. to talk. Maybe I like that. Maybe I like... Really? Right. I Aww. think you've got this. You know I won't make your life easy. I don't make anything easy. I like this so much. <laughs> but you do make it better. Oh. I, uh, well, don't use your charm all at once. I have more than that. I hope. <laughs> I, I like that a lot. Lucanison never dating now. Yay! I don't know why that made me so happy. It's probably because it's something we that they've always wanted to do in these games, but they've never fully fleshed it out, with the exception of Dorian and Bull and Garrus and Tali. But we never got any cutscenes. I'm meeting Stalgard at Isana Nagat on the mountain. Come with me. Shoot, you have more of us. business. No, nothing of the sort, but. I could use company, if you're up for the trip. Sure. Hmm. Interesting. No one else wants to talk to me, right? Oh, let's see what they're all chatting about. Though. Oh, let's see what... Oh, Laura and Davern are chatting again. Not a cutscene yet, but... I don't think... I think... I don't think we're gonna, they're going to hook up, but they might. So, compared to what wardens usually eat, how's the food here? I think we're gonna rock the Lord of Fortune look That's for a start. show wardens off the posh. Cold gruel. Yuck. What is gruel anyway? It's not good. There's the eternal question. We never did get an answer. Nope. Probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, I did change our like we still have this armor on, but I put this appearance on because. I wanted to match our partner. We have matching armor and it's super adorable. I don't know if this will be our final armor look towards the end game. I doubt it will be. But uh why did I get the closest screen now? But it still looks very it looks more like medium armor. That's definitely half plate armor. Okay, so. We got a quest for Tosh. Who are we gonna bring? Or probably these two will be our usual pair for fighting the Untom. There's another quest here. I'll do that off screen probably. There's another quest. I'll probably pick up all these quests off screen. I'll probably have some off screen time for quests that don't matter. Mercenaries! Yeah. Fuck. Come on. Where 
random mercenaries here instead of on top. Oh, the charge attacks are so good. Boom, do your thing, guys. Oh, how did that miss? Enemies of range. You must get there. Yeah, let's get up there and kill this guy. and welcome. You stand in Ravain, home of magic, danger, and adventure. Interesting. Tell me, if you will, do you hunger for excitement? I'm not against adventure. What have you got? A Ravaini lord of fortune was following a map leading to buried treasure. Sadly, Ritzinger attempted to loot a treasure chest mid-battle. The did their arms get smaller in his armor? Oh, they definitely and did. And I remember them fondly. So did ours. But you can carry out their final wishes to find this treasure no matter the mm. danger and earn gold and glory. I don't glory. Them made their arms If you give me the smaller, map, I'll see what I can do. I'll probably change the appearance to match my favorite of their armors. <laughs> Mm, that kind of makes me sad. I did kind of notice it made our character's arms look a little smaller, but I was like, I still think the Tasha's arms, they look so small compared to how they normally look, so I will probably be changing the armor look for Tasha's to one that I really like. And then for... It's also kind of disappointing that Tasha doesn't have a unique armor now that I think about it. Like, their final armor is just an armor you can also get. That's a bit disappointing. Okay, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for something here. Oh. Ah. That's on. Dragon bones? Ah. It's not where I am currently, but. supposed to be looking for. I have no idea what I'm looking for. What was the first clue? I'm 
We're not the only ones after the treasure. Oh, okay. I already do. I am on the right path. Somewhere. Search for the second clue. Okay, what's the second clue? Ah. The rock sand saw look for the shortest waterfall. Stands tall, look for the shortest waterfall. Okay. Interesting. Your old necromancer friend, peasant cuss. She's a lich? In some respects, her attempt to achieve lichdom was only partially successful. So there are different kinds? I fear these undead continue to be committed to a life of larceny. <laughs> I, I missed that. I, I was well. At least I know it'll pick up the conversation. That's one thing I love. I love that this game did is it's like, oh no, you missed out on the conversation. Well, guess what? You still didn't have it. Because we're not that type of game. I probably save this one up some down. Can you guys blow him up, please? This one's all set. Your old necromancer friend, Ezenkos. She's a lich? In some respects, 
Her attempt to achieve lichdom was only partially successful. Okay. So there are different kinds? Which kind are you? A good lich or a bad lich? I'm not a lich. No. Oh, okay. But hasn't cost as bad? We're okay to kill her? Ray killer? Yes. Yes. If we must. We yeah. must. Sorry we have to re-kill your friend. Oh, as a lot, Tosh. Thank you. My booties within reach will grab it near the beach. This just feels like something Isabella set up. <laughs> Especially with that line. My booties within reach, you can grab it at the beach. Do you think Isabella and Varric ever fucked? I think they're fucked. Oh! Over when you have a moment. I was supposed to... Okay. Hey! Captain Corpse asshole! The treasure is ours! Undead pirate captain. Oh, boss fight? You know what? Fuck it. Every one of you can go. Can y'all make this one go boom? treasure was the whole time probably you had to find it yourself the real treasure was the journey no it wasn't now Ritzinger would have used this to purchase a new ship since their last caught fire and burned I believe a lady was involved <laughs> but the gold and glory are yours now to use as you will adventure yay Dead men tell some tales. I think I'm gonna come back to do some of the extra side quests off screen. Ooh, rare light guitar that I've never got. Wipes up wall. Okay, what is this one? This one's a Zeke. Zero healing. Using a potion in the uh, No fucking way! That's trash. Okay, I think we're gonna go back to the lighthouse now, actually. Because I want to change up our attire. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. 
I might do some of the side quests off screen. Uh, if they don't feel like they're plot important. If they feel like they're plot important, then I'm absolutely going to do them. It's like if I start a cutscene and then it's like, oh, well, this seems more important than you thought, then I'm going to just do it. Tosh wants to talk to me. We're going to go talk to our partner. That's my spouse, you fools. <laughs> oh wait, first, before we talk to Tosh, I'm going to change up the armor appearances, because it makes us less... Whoa, where... Oh, I'm in Emmerich's room. It makes us less buff. I don't like that it makes us less buff. Like... Look at my arms there, right? Or, I guess this is a better example. Look at them there. I guess they don't change me at all, so that's fine. Uh, I think instead of the Warden Big Hammer design, we're gonna go with... Yeah. That's going to be our weapon design, no matter what weapon we're using. And then... I didn't get a better one for you this yet, did I? No. I like having an axe, but... Uh, Tosh, though. I want to change the design of this to match... Okay, so what's this one look like? Oh! We could still be matching! Her, their default... Kind of like Fortune's favorite. Like, I guess their arms don't get smaller in their armor, but I think I like that one the best. There's one. Oh, this is a be if I chose the Ravain option. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick with the look we've been liking. But it's like. It kind of sucks that the choice would give them either a Ravani look or a Kunari look. That just kind of confirms that the armor that my rook is wearing is a Kunari armor. What's up, babe? I got word from a Kunari linguist. Not on, Tom. Real Kunari. Oh, cool. She can translate the tablet for me. Wants to meet on my beach in Ravane. Let's go! You're not doing this alone. When do we leave? Thanks. We can go whenever you're free. We're going right now. No one else has anything for us to do. Bring it up. Let's bring no healing. Ugh. I mean, we're not doing any main quests here anyway, so... And if we do fight on Tom. Yeah, see, I like this look on Rook. And I, it was kind of a cute idea to have us matching. This side quest is for Tasha's cousin, it said, so... quest. Avatash. The air has been running from the storm all afternoon. You came just in time for it. There are others here as well. Up the beach. He's so good. Yeah, it's okay. We came to meet them. Kunari, not Antam, but real Kunari. Like us. Their little ship avoided the Antam. They asked how I was. They told me I could go back to Parvalin with them, if I wanted. I think he wants to. The air is running away. What did you mean, the air is running away from the storm? We think of air as being nothing. But if you have felt a driving wind, you know it has weight. 
On a calm, sunny day, the air rests on you like a warm, thick blanket. When a storm is coming, the air pushes on you less. We say that it is afraid, running from the storm. You can feel the difference in the air. Some of us use tools to measure it. Some of us can feel it in old aches, or the way your body knows the sun is rising. Huh. You want to go back? Do you want to take the Canary up on their offer? I used to think that I could never return. That the Antam broke me from the Kuhn when they took me away. Doesn't seem like they did. But these Kunari said they could help me heal my mind. I would like that. You're gonna go over to the re-educators. Okay. And I think staying here would make me sad. Now that Shathan is gone. Aww. Yeah. You have grafted your mother's horn to yours. Yeah. Alchemist with the Lords did it for me. It'll grow now like my own. And she will always be with you. That's actually really sweet. Hey, before we go, I brought food. It's probably not as good as she makes it. Thank you, Evatash. I will eat the fruit. Be safe. Do not stay out too long in the storm. Hmm. That was a really sweet conversation. I like that guy. Right. Let's go see what the damn tablet says. You okay? You alright? Just ready to get it over with. The Kanari translator said she had to give the translation in person. That's a little odd. Yep. Come on. Mmm, that might mean they're gonna try to pressure you to join the Kuhn. We'll see. Might pressure us both. Because we're not... Did the translator at least give you a hint of what the tablet said? Nope. And she wouldn't say why we had to meet in person instead of just sending. Sorry. No food today. Next time. Probably get all soggy anyway. It is very rainy out. Oh wait, I wanted to change my weapon. Uh, we're gonna turn the appearance on. And what's the best weapon we got? It's 550. 542, 12, We're gonna keep it looking like a the axe, though. This is good. Simple. Wet. The other one keeps throwing rocks. Come on. No sense putting it off. Let's go, babe. This is probably my favorite armor look for our rook so far. They got far. a ship past the Antam and the Ravani fleet. It's a small ship. Probably snuck by with all the smugglers. Probably. Are you? There's little horns. Broken horns. You are Evatash and Rook. Shathan, who served as your Tamasran, was a friend to me. Because you convinced us to learn about the Kuhn, they have sought a Kunari scholar. Okay. You're the linguist. You study ancient Kunari language like Shathan did. Yes, I study both the language and the culture of the first expedition. My hope is that by learning more of the first expedition, we can improve our understanding of ourselves. Possibly. You're gonna help Karash? He needs help. Are you really going to be able to help Karash like you offered? Yes. The Antam hurt many in the Kuhn when they launched their invasion on the south. Karash will go to those who heal the mind. Uh, sounds it speaks like a well, Shathan, that she helped him. Pleasure to meet you. It's an honor to meet someone who has studied the first expedition. Shathan was the most knowledgeable of us. Thank you for sending her notes. Sure. You wish to know of the tablet. Before I give you the translation, I must explain. What you learn here, I ask that you hold to yourself. What is there is sacred. I wouldn't have learned it without Rook. Then we will respect your trust. The tablet's it's message must Kunari, only be spoken. It must not be written down. So that's why you couldn't just send a letter? Yes, the tablet warned us against doing so. I remember the words, but please, bring your fire to the tablet so that I can show you. 
By dragon's fire, these words are revealed. Trust no story not hidden this way. Mm -hmm. When the adversary came, we mixed our blood what? with dragons to fight. Protect those with fire. They see when the adversary cannot. came. We fled across the sea, but there is no safety here. We have sickened and will soon die. If more of us come from across the sea, then the adversary will follow. Be What's the adversary? The storm. What kind of Vashadon is this? They had problems. Sounds like the ancient Canari had some trouble of their own. Whatever else is unclear, this offers proof that Tosh and others like them should hold a place of honor. Them, the good. We were wrong to send them to the Antam as simple soldiers. And Shatham was right in taking you from us. She succeeded where we failed. And she died for it. That's true. I'll go check on them. Brooke's a good boyfriend. All right, where'd they go? Babe? Oh, gosh. You okay, babe? I break my neck climbing up here in the rain. Good thing they're such a good kisser. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, you need to burn off some energy. I can think of more pleasant ways to do it. All that work. All the ancient Kunari crap that she died for. And what's the secret? More work? More responsibility? She can't just leave me with this. She can't just... Tosh. Leave me. Reaction to being in romance with Tosh. Come here. Hey. You're not alone here. Sorry. Shut up. Okay. Um. Thanks. The Kunari thought I was a mistake. The Dragon King thought I was a weapon. Shazan was the only one who believed in me. Until Rook. The Kunari want me to help them, protect them. What do I do with that? Whip them into shape. The Kunari forgot the old stories. They messed up. You're gonna kick their ass until they remember again. Like they'll listen to me. According to that tablet, they have to. We need the Kunari ready for whatever comes next. Who's the adversary? Whether it's the Devouring Storm or something the else. The Devouring Storm. I need to know what that they is. We need to be united. Most That's of the Antan broke away from the Kune, including any other Adari. Then we need to get them back. And the Antan. They don't know how to live outside the Kune. That's a good start. Well, now that we've I'm gonna killed... I'm going to make the Kune more like what oh. it's supposed to be. But she told me it was. I can do that for you. Tama. It's your mom. Because Tasha breaks being Kunari, some former on Tom will return to the queue. Good! Little dragon. Oh, I leveled up. Well, first things first, we're gonna go back to the lighthouse to see if Tosh has anything else for us. Cause uh, I want to make out. Oh, they don't have anything for me yet. Okay. Well, we won't do another companion quest today. But we have a lot of stuff to do that's like side quests and stuff. 
So let's go do this one for Hossberg. Uh, we'll do that for his personal quest. Let's try this crew. We haven't really ever used them Rick and Davern together. Probably because we usually take Davern to fight Kanari. Talk to Evka and Antoine. That's the plan. Okay, let's run some more practice. Uh, first. Oh wait, we don't have enough points. What's up, Antoine? Hey, Antoine. Evka. I, uh, Antoine. I can still hear it. <laughs> ah, though it is giving me a headache. Please, be careful. With the container? It's very sturdy. I tested it. What? When? And how? Am I interrupting? No. Our study of the new Blight continues. We know the gods changed the Blight. We think it changed more than they realized. Or altered itself after. Hmm. It's answering to something. Other than gods. Still our job to stop it, yeah. It's still spreading and it's still killing people. Seems our job is the same. At least the part that matters. So what's the Blight answering to? Remember the strange call I heard after the Lavendale battle? It was here in the wetlands. Mm -hmm. We think the source is out a ways, towards the redoubt. I can tell it's something large, rooted. A construct is it a of the light tree itself. that we skip seeing? An eruption controlling the rest. What that could mean. I don't like it. I don't like that the blight's talking to you more than usual, Antoine. Everything that calls the blight impacts the wardens. We withstand it. But gods, archdemons, it all adds strain. If the eruption calls the blight, then it could mess with us too. Spark the calling sooner. We'll lose ourselves along with the wetlands. Hmm. Yeah. Antoine, you hear whispers in the blight more than me and Evka. Are you? Ah, uh, yes. A little sensitive, but it's not calling to me. Not yet. Like everyone else, I'll know when that changes. So we kill the eruption. So we kill this eruption. It can die, right? That's the hope. Remember those samples you found when we first arrived? Based on our studies, Antoine made an alchemical flame. It's impressive. It should destroy the eruption. Theoretically. At least the last batch was stable. Mostly. But if the eruption's controlling the blight and it gets attacked, then the blight around Lavendel might respond. Yes. Its roots are everywhere, and spreading. I can feel them. These people can't lose their blight experts. I can go after the eruption. While we guard against nasty side effects here. Yeah, I'm gonna break it all. I'll make sure the whole thing burns. Good. The blight poisons so much. Water, plants, animals, people. Some would call the wetlands dead already, but they're not. It's not too late. Whatever the eruption means for the waters, we can leave this place better. It's what we're supposed to do. We'll take our stand in the sheltered glade. Meet us there when you're done. Uh, give me one second, guys. I have to... Do something real quick. One second, folks. Let's take two seconds. Sorry, guys. Okay. Sorry, folks. I had to respond to something that was kind of urgent, but we're good. 
Uh, anyway, let's. Where's the redoubt? Let's go. Dark spawn, of course. Yeah, I figured they were resistant to that. Hey, So good. Good work, everybody. There's something in here. It's not good. Lead on. We route it out together. I mean, we can. Daver and I can both feel how much blight is here. Oh! The eruption's on the other side of that barrier. We'll need to cut off the tendrils to break them. Keeping the dark core back. Won't show up. That's a win. Okay. How do I get up there? I don't think that's how I was supposed to do that, but I did it that way anyway. Up on the ledge, we can destroy the tendrils from there. Thank you, Emric. I already did that. Okay, let's move through. We're through. Let's Got see all this dark spawn shit. What is? That's is a that the blight eruption. That's a big ah, amount of blight. The dark spawn are protecting it. You need to take them out. We need to stop this. Get it. Are you all the right? I'm fine. 
sounds like an echo in my head. Shouldn't Davin be having the same issue? Bane is here, baby. skill points up. Applies overwhelm. Um, Sound strike to damage plus 25%. That's the taunt. Yeah, we don't need that. We can give it that point here. Nah. Oh, I have skill points to use. Fuck. This is it. Let's get that eruption. Place out chemical flame. This is gonna be fucked. All right, we strike and the whole thing goes up. It's not gonna let me. All right, time to destroy this thing. Does it gonna work? Where's the sheltered blade? Okay. Let's go meet Antoine and Evka then. Let them know that we succeeded in blowing up all that shit. This game is graphically impressive. I was gonna say pretty, and then there was mutilated corpses in front of me. <laughs> I wouldn't call this game. Well, this game can be very pretty. Okay, what's up, guys? This is a nice little. Area. They aren't blighted. Were they dormant? Maybe. They're beautiful. Much like you. Ah, look. Hi. You can flirt with your wife. It's fine, dude. We knew when you hit that <laughs> eruption. The blight around Lavendel reacted. And there was a sound in it. Like nothing we've heard before. What happened in there? What was it like? Standard business for a Grey Warden. Oh, I guess not. I've never seen blight like that. And it... It felt different. Like... Something under my skin. Ugh. Then you sense it too. So much has changed. 
when God, the character models on this game just look phenomenal. Back. And the facial the animations are so good. Definitely a step good up sign. from every and previous Bioware game. Up. The flowers here. They managed and to survive. Someone tried to tell me Inquisition had better facial untouched. animations in this game, and I was like, they have a no. chance to return now. Emmerich's looking at the dead, the living tree. Because you stop the blight, eruption flowers can return. Hell yeah! So doing side quests have merit. You were sharing a moment. Look at you. Out here with the flowers and a moment alone. That I walked into the middle of. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Yes, please. Enjoy the flowers. We thought the Grey Warden's purpose would end when the last Archdemons died. And that time's almost here. It's unbelievable! Hmm. The Order is those of us left now. When the Archdemons fall, some Wardens will hang up their swords. Probably, yeah. Until they're calling, at least. So the Wardens are finished? No, our numbers may get smaller, but Efka and I will be here. Others will stay too. I think Rook There's will too. There's still Blight in the world. There's something if new calling to it. And to us. There's Blight inside us too. If it changed out there, have we changed as well? What matters? Is that if new evils show up, we'll be here to keep them back. Hell yeah. You think we've changed? Do you really think something inside us has changed? It's possible. Or maybe we're the same. But does that mean we'll be the same? I don't know. The blight feels different. We know that already. The sound of it this is This has got to be a Grey Warden-specific quest for means, your origin. Like, we don't know yet. Like, you don't get this quest if you're not a Warden. At least I hope so, because, like, that would be kind of cool if every faction has their own specific quest for your origin. How are you two taking this? Are you two doing okay? Seriously? I'm good. I've got everything I need right here. Aw. Me too. I can't believe I'm leaving this. It's been overwhelming. I'm a war... I think Rook believes that he's awarded to the end. But he also wants to go with Tosh. The, to the Canari. Awarded now, future's open. I'm a warden. I'm... Whatever I'm doing at the lighthouse. Who knows what's next? Sounds exciting, if you ask me. I think he'll still and be a warden. No matter who or where you are. The blight feels relentless most of the time. We see what it does up close. Yep. The world dying. How it spreads. But we keep going. And look. These flowers can make it back. The blight can be stopped. The blight. We really can do something about it. Mm -hmm. Of course we can. Helps to see it's true, though. Lavendel was named for flowers. They yeah. must have been everywhere before. When we get back... We can stay here a bit longer first. Yeah, you guys make oh, out. yes. I thought I heard birds earlier. Maybe we can find them? Yeah, you two make out. Davern, Emmerich, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Right now. Get up. Leave them be. Great Axe of Arlathan. I got a better medium armor, I think. Light in the dark. What's that? Eight of the Grey Wards, whatever it means. Yeah. Is it better? Better not be fucking better. It's a light armor. Where's the medium armor? Oh, yeah. It's better. There's this is a dark spawn. Twenty percent defense to Grey Warden's allied strength. So all the Grey Warden armor is just about being a tank, though. But it's better ability damage. I don't know. We'll play around with that later. Like, that is technically better, but only by a little. We'll see how it works out for right now. Painfully healed. But some places barely come back at all. Yeah. Pushing by the blight. 
It's possible. Uh, we're not gonna go meet with the Inquisitor next. I think we're gonna go back to the lighthouse after I do some shopping. And then we're gonna go to, uh... And then that'll probably be the end of the episode. And then we're gonna do another companion quest next time. I haven't decided who yet, but... The Blight's retreating! Back again. Rank up! Upgrade to the hammer. Upgrade to the Davern shield. Duration of all fight advantage is reset. Eh. Tarnish wing. Got the Grey Wardens to max rank. Okay. Let's see if it looks worse. I'm just not a fan of the way that... I mean, this looks fine, I guess. But even then, I can change the appearance. But for now, let's stick with... Where'd it go? I'll probably change that off screen, but anyway... <laughs> Uh, let's see. No, we're not doing that right now. Lighthouse. See if there's anyone to talk to. And then we're gonna end the episode. I got a new missive. Still alive. What was that from? Correspondence from Prof. Fallen. Rook, thank you for assisting Ephitosh. It is unpleasant to admit error, but the coon requires those of us in the Ashkari, the scholars, to hold ourselves accountable. Marashk Itwar, Marto Anan. Without seeing failure, we cannot find success. Anan means like success, got it. We are sending envoys to the Tom and Ravain. We offer to teach them how to be more than just weapons so that they may live with a purpose whether they rejoin the Kuhn or not. Shathan was not a Tamasrin, but she took on a Tamasrin's job. The name she chose for her new role closely means the Triumph of Manners. I do not know that she taught Evatosh perfect manners, but she raised an exceptional Kunari nonetheless. Nevertheless, please tell Evatosh that Karash is home and healing. That's awesome. Nobody want to... Uh, let's just run around the night ho lighthouse and see what everyone has to say before we end the episode. Because that's always kind of fun. Davern and Tosh, what y'all got talking about? You see the size of Elgernon's dragon? Mm -hmm. Kind of hard to miss. It's pretty big. He... The Archdemon Lusicon is a he. Male dragons don't have wings. Elgernon used magic to make the Archdemons bigger. Maybe he added wings, too. Ugh. And he screwed with her horns. What kind of asshole does that? The kind we kill. Yeah, it's like a weird thing that we don't have any confirmation on why all of the Archdemons are... Or most of the Archdemons are male. Because high dragons can't be male. But most of the Archdemons we've dealt with in Dragon Age, like the first Archdemon Dumat, Razakeo, Lusikon, Uthemiel, they were all male. Coin for your thoughts. I'm fine. Oh, there's an act for the road. <laughs> I'm just a little worried about everything. But we're going to be fine, right? We don't know that. <laughs> Very comforting. We'll manage something. Might even make it out alive. Maybe. Slightly better. I try. Okay. I must say, of all our theories throughout the ages, 
No one thought ancient elves came from spirits was very likely. Hmm. Wait, the Morn Watch knew? Not at all. It was only one proposition amongst thousands, and not well credited. You could write a paper for the Watchers, <gasps> or both of us could. What a wonderful idea. Fucking Though nerds. we'll have some difficulty citing our sources. Right, I guess Solus's memories are technically a diary. Fucking nerds. Uh, anyways, guys, that's where we're going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Next time, we're going to do one of the companion quests. I haven't decided who yet. Might start with Hardings, because Hardings just seems like it's going to be a little conversation. And then move on to Davern or Nevs, possibly. And then we'll get started with the main quest stuff. I'm going to do some of the side quests that aren't really relevant to the main plot off screen. But anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. If you like Dragon Age of Belgard and want more Dragon Age of Belgard content, I'm going to start streaming this next week. Well, that'll be in the past for you. I'm going to start streaming on a Nightmare or Hard mode. I haven't decided which one play through on November 14th, but this will probably come out way past that. So, if you, I hope you've been enjoying that if it's been ongoing. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.